Yeah, there are a couple of uh, challenges that we have. First of all, we have to differentiate between cataract patients from a, uh, a public insurance, from a private insurance, patients that come for cataract surgery for curative reasons or where we consider premium intraocular lenses, or even patients that come for lens surgery for refractive purpose or presbyopia exchange. The other challenge is that usually the expert or the one who does the surgery will see the patients at the end of the whole procedure. So before that, there is a bunch of examinations which will be done by technicians, by residents or other doctors. The more different type of examinations you have, the more different people are involved, the more problems you can have because the quality of the examination can be different. The other thing is that we need to have, before I see the patients, I, have to, I want to have the whole information. I want to have a lot of information about the cornea, the lens, the whole eye and so on. And uh, these are the challenges that you have in a big, busy uh, clinic because there are so many uh, patients and the first entry when they come, they are not identified as a premium candidate or a candidate for this or that intraocular lens. So the whole thing must be that at the end I can make all the decisions uh, regardless how it was when the patient entered the hospital. Well, in the university clinic, we have the two aspects of taking care of patients, but also uh, working in research and also following up on our patients, seeing after surgical procedures or new lenses, how, how they uh, perform. For this, we, we, knew, we now need the best material, the best uh, diagnostic tools uh, that is available, always up to date, or maybe even ahead of what is uh, the mainstream in order to identify uh, all new situations, do new research and uh, further develop things. The other thing is I need uh, machines because they are uh, used by different people that have an extremely good reproducibility, work regardless who is pushing the button the same way and give very reliable results. And then the other aspect of course is in a public hospital the financial strains. Uh, I cannot, uh, I don't have endless money so I also have to consider can I get do I have to buy three machines to have to, or can I have everything in one machine? And uh, space is another thing, yeah? Do I need three rooms to examine the patient or can I do everything in one room? So all these are the things we have to consider when we're looking at new investment. Let's see we're talking about a cataract patients or let's say in general uh, lens exchange patients. Yeah, could be a refractor. So there are a lot of things that we need to know uh, uh, and a lot of medical things. First of all, we need an evaluation of the whole eye. We start at the cornea. We want to know anything about uh, a dry eye and tear film. We want to know any, everything about the cornea, the tomography, the uh, uh, wave front. We want to know everything about the lens, the status of the lens, how, uh, how big the cataract is. We need the axial lens. We need all the parameters for calculating an intraocular lens. We want to know something about pathology, macula for example. Uh, 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 so we actually have a full exam of, of the patient. It's not like 20 years ago where you just look in this little lab, you see, oh, there's a cataract, and then you went for this. Today it's a completely different system and it requires much more information. Once we have all that, we can have a, a bigger uh, decision tree going from normal monofocal lenses to toric lenses to premium. Uh, uh, presbyopia correcting lenses and we need a lot of information for that. We also need to know about high order aberrations and all these things. Maybe this candidate would be from its personality a good candidate for a premium lens but the uh, uh, high order aberrations are so bad that we cannot uh, apply trifocal technology. So there are a lot of issues that we have to consider when a patient comes to the clinic. Yeah, we, we use the Pentacam, the Pentacam IXL for quite a while, so we are very familiar with it. And uh, now we can actually do more or less everything with one single machine. And for me, in a scientific and, and uh, academic setup, where we do a lot of research, but also have a lot of private patients for refractive surgery, uh, uh, the wave uh, uh, edition, so to say, is, is very interesting yeah, and very important. Uh, uh, we have looked at the machine, we have uh, 
done several studies. We looked at repeatability. So we did several measurements in the same patient and found a very, very high uh, accuracy, a very, very low standard deviation. Uh, we had several people using it from doctor to, to technicians. There was no difference uh, uh, in performance and in reproducibility. We compared the machine with other Wavefront technology, with the NIDEC machine, with the Schwind uh, machine. We saw excellent uh, agreement with this machine. Sometimes we actually had much lower standard deviations uh, when we looked at the repeatability than some of the already available uh, machines. So we were very impressed by that, and I can say that this is a, a really excellent solution to have it all in one. You don't need any external machinery, more or less, uh, 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 in, a, in a busy uh, cataract and refractive clinic, because the Pentacom IXL Wave does it all.